You just heard about the work we're doing across Google and Android to make a multi-device world simpler. He's a device person, so though. So all your devices work better together. Let's talk next about Google's own hardware. Yes. All Yo, the tech breakthroughs hardware. you've seen today across come the Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't get me gas, we Google. <laughs> around Google's latest oh, I'm tingling, I'm Pixel tingling. 6 introduced some amazing new Pixel phone 6A, capabilities. Come on. Today, I'm excited for Sonya to show you the new Pixel 6 Yes! <laughs> Pixel 6a, blood. Let's go. Yes, Pixel 6a. We're also working on our next generation, Pixel 7. No way! <laughs> Let me give you an early preview so you can see what's coming this fall. <laughs> Yo, they actually mentioned Pixel 7, you know? <laughs> the polished aluminum looks beautiful with the glass in the back of the phone. Nah, Google. The earbuds nah, called Google, Pixel Buds slow Pro. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Pixel Buds Pro, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's take a look at what makes them so special. In. The new Google Pixel. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Pixel watch. Pixel watch. A tactile crown. Google. A beautiful recycled stainless steel. Please. So here's a first ever look at our new Pixel no! tablet. <laughs> no. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. No, slow down. You should be seeing what I'm saying just transcribed for you in no! real time. Kind of no! like <laughs> subtitles for the world. No. What we're working on is... Yo, Google, 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 Google. Yo, don't care what no one says, isn't it? Um, best I.O. event. Best I.O. event. Give Google their flowers. <laughs> Talk about a Google I.O. event. 2022, what a way to bring back an in-person presentation and event again. We're talking Android 13, right? We're talking Pixel 6a, Pixel Buds Pro. Then we're talking Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro. And then, even into next year, a Pixel tablet. Google, take my money. Let's talk about it. Google I.O. quick recap. Hi, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. Boy, you know what? I'm even way too excited to even sit down and script this because I just need to get this off my chest. So if I miss some stuff, man, forgive me. Drop in the comments section below. Let's have a conversation because Google threw a lot. Two hours. Listen, I'm glad in-person events are back. They did a great job. One of my best in-person events that I've seen, but you know, let me not ramble because we're gonna talk about some of the stuff. They talked about Android 13 beta being available on a slew of different manufacturers. I'll have it on the screen so you can see it, which is definitely great to see. And I'm excited to see when the One UI 5 with Android 13 in beta is gonna come out. That's something I'm just gonna discuss later as you jump over on Sam Mobile. But obviously we're here now at Lover of Tech, so it's really good to talk about it, but for all the things that they were talking about in terms of software from Google Translate, privacy, maps, search, so much happened in IO, but it was building up and I was getting excited. You saw my initial reactions when I was thinking, okay, what's coming, what's coming, what's coming? And then boom, Pixel 6a, and boy, they flipped the formula. $449, hopefully that's 339 pounds in the UK, 400 pounds in the UK, but they flipped the script. Same design, and so far as we know, it's 6.1 inches, it's a 1080p AMOLED 60 hertz display, but it's using the same Tensor chip. Now, from the details that I've found out so far, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and it's using the older 12 megapixel sensor. And it's an ultra wide as well, so there's two cameras on there. Uh, I think it's still gonna use the same eight megapixels, but the main thing is the fact that it's the same pro level Tensor chip found in the six and six pro, in a 6A, first time they pulled that off. That is such a good look. Ooh. But I'm wondering what the battery capacity is gonna be like, the build quality, because they did say that it's got an aluminum frame as well. Listen, if the haptics are on point as well, you know I'm a sucker for good haptics. Boy, oh boy, this could be the mid-range phone to really kill the game and kill off phones like the iPhone SE. And even with how dominant the Galaxy A series is, I think it's gonna give it a run for its money. But I hope they don't do what they did last year with the Pixel 5a or 5g when I did my reaction video that please make it available in the UK. Make it available in more places 
not just in USA and Japan like what he did last year. And I hope the constraints with the chip shortages and stuff don't get in the way in it. But Pixel 6a, yo, my body's ready for it. But you know what? They didn't stop there because the accompanying product with it was the Pixel Buds Pro. $199 with active noise cancelling, four different colours. It looks slick with all the different features that comes with it, transparency mode, Google Assistant, the drivers that come in there when it comes to the sound that you're getting. You know I'm into my earbuds, man, especially with all the travel and exercise I do. I'm eager to definitely check that out. I ain't gonna lie to you. When they dropped those two products here, yeah, I was ready to be like, yo, that's enough. It's an IO event. <laughs> What's going on, any more? Yep, guy comes on stage and mentions the fact that they are working on the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. I ain't lying to you. They put the names out there and they said it's coming this autumn or for as the North Americans like to say, and they pretty much showed it in the white color. The aluminum bar for the camera goes all the way there. You've got the polished rails as well, which is something I'm very, very eager to check out for myself. I didn't really see any matte finish when it came to the glass. So I don't know if there's gonna be different colors that's gonna have a matte finish because it still look glossy in the white one. Boy, they're talking about new generation tensor chip, breaking the rules, new grounds when it comes to photography and video, when it comes to the camera performance. Boy, I'm ready, I'm ready. And I hope they've taken on the feedback in terms of giving more time for testing when it comes to video and also the photo performance. Things like having 4K60 on all the camera lenses, especially for the selfie, that's something I talked about as well. And please, please, please give us a newer generation selfie sensor on the Pixel 7, the non-pro version as well. Fam. This was a lot to take in. And then you pulled up and talked about Wear OS and working better together. And then all of a sudden we saw the guy just pull out the Pixel Watch, which is gonna be coming out alongside the Pixel 7 series in autumn and fall. Now, this is gonna be a tall order because again, we know the acquisition of Fitbit and everything else that was around it and stuff, right? The anticipation is big on this one. It's big on this one. I don't want to get too hyped, especially me not really being a watch person as such. I am eager to see it, like the wristbands, the accessories with it. I love the look of the design. The Wear OS UI looks very unique to it in terms of the fluid interface, showing you notifications, things at a glance, you know, the look of it. It does look interesting and it looks like really they're widening their spectrum when it comes to hardware ecosystem into software. We'll talk about software nearer to the end. I've mentioned four products already, right? Pixel 6a, Pixel Buds Pro, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. And then we've got the Pixel Watch. That's for 2022, they're stacked. They're stacked, but it didn't stop there because 2023, they're saying that they're actually thinking of, not thinking of, they're gonna be bringing a Pixel tablet. Get out of here. Google. You pretty much listened to my last cut down reaction of your previous IO where I talked about this. The neglect of, you know, using Android properly on the bigger formats as well as the wearables as well. Look at what they did with Android 13. 20 plus Google apps are gonna be updated for the bigger screen form factor. And you know I'm a big foldable fan as well, right? After <laughs> Look, I'm so excited. I'm even just speechless at the minute. And they talked about third party apps like Zoom, TikTok, Facebook, and Canva taking advantage of the bigger screen. They showcased Android 13 or possibly Android 12L working with the Material U and all the things that they talked about when it came to more Material U, you know, better media controls, you know, better privacy and access, you know, RTS for much more encrypted instant messaging instead of SMS coming to Google. Fam, they were taking shots at Apple even in terms of just the whole adaptation. Fam, there's a lot that happened. There is so much that happened in there from hardware to software. This is a whole different Google and they're coming out the gate. And I really hope they've learned from what happened last year with Google Pixel 6. Great start. And I said, so long as they stay the course and they take the feedback on, give themselves more time to test and refine and add things and make things more streamlined and seamless and work better together is what they said. Boy. <laughs> Look, this is a quick hot fire reaction. I'm gonna be skeptical on a lot of things, right? Because I have a lot of my feedbacks and I'm gonna put some out there. My experience with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, right? 
I wish the charging speeds were much faster relative to the battery capacity and relative to the 30 watts that they rated with it, especially the fact that they didn't supply it in the box. We know we're not gonna really be getting that. Fine tune the haptics just a little bit more better on the Pro, just like how they were good, nice out of the box with the Pixel 6, right? The cameras, even with the Pixel 6, man, we've got to have 4K recording on the selfie camera. I know the pricing was very competitive at 599, but we need 4K on the selfie camera, updated from the eight megapixels to the new 11 megapixels one. Ah, oh, I, I don't even know where else to go. A lot's riding on the, on the Pixel Watch, and there's a lot riding on this new software optimization for these larger screen format devices like foldables and especially tablets, which have been heavily neglected. Now I'm eager to hear what the price will be when it comes to the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, as well as the Pixel Watch. Something tells me things are gonna get upped in terms of price, at least by an additional $50 on top of what was already there from 899 to 950 maybe, who knows? Fingers crossed they're gonna be able to keep things the same, but regardless, well done Google. Good, good, good early teaser and initial impressions. And I'm even more excited to get hold of the Pixel 6a because boy, a whole Tensor Pro chip, same level as the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro in a mid-ranger, $449, £399 hopefully. Boy, take my money, I'm ready. Let me know what your thoughts. What did you think of Google I.O. 2022? This is a quick hot fire reaction recap. Boy, I'm hyped, I'm excited, and definitely it gives us something to track as we go. Again, with the Pixel 6a and the Pixel's, um, what do you call it, Pixel Buds Pro. That's gonna be 21st of July online and 28th in store. So there's a little bit of a gap. We've got near enough for two, six weeks, seven weeks to go until then, and maybe a whole two months. But regardless, looking forward to it. Summer's looking good. Christmas period is looking good as well. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.